impact is that having on, on the equity market? Is it having a bit of a, a negative impact? The Australian dollar has been very high. Uh, we've seen a big run up in it over January, up, up over $1.07 now. And uh, we saw those PMI figures, probably the, particularly the ones from um, the US and China having an effect on the Australian dollar. And also uh, the trade surplus today putting up a little bit of a bounce in the Australian dollar. And um, the Australian market has underperformed global markets. Uh, whether it be since uh, those August lows we saw last year or even post GFC, uh, the ASX, the S&P 500, sorry, has actually rallied about twice as hard on, over both of those time frames than the ASX 200. Uh, the Australian dollar certainly is one of the factors that the market talks about as holding us back. Our export is obviously a very big factor, the Australian dollar. Uh, companies, particularly healthcare companies, Brambles, CSL, companies like that, that have big offshore earnings. Also, when we bring that back into Australia, Australian dollars, that high Australian dollar has a huge effect on it. And looking forward to earnings reports next week, it will be some of those companies that is affected by the high Australian dollar, which will probably be showing a bit of weakness. Uh, Tim Westpac, the latest today to, to make the announcement. Where do you see it? I mean, what angle do you come in? I mean, is it something that Westpac needs to do, as it says, facing these challenging times with wholesale funding costs, you know, competing on deposits rates here domestically? You'd have to imagine those margins are getting squeezed. They've got to try and, I suppose, find some sort of relief somewhere. Well, that's right. Um, banking employment and finance employment in general is very cyclical. It is very market driven. And the banks are looking at, I mean, cutting costs here. Uh, we've seen credit growth slowing. Uh, they're looking to reduce their costs. We saw in uh, mortgage credit growth in December uh, only grew 0.3 of a 0.36 of a percent, which was only about 5.4 percent year on year, which is actually the slowest mortgage credit growth we've seen ever. Uh, business credit growth has been growing slowly, and this looks like it probably will continue to gradually accelerate. But at the moment, credit growth uh, is not looking all that positive for the banks. So bank deposits are improving. They're looking, uh, their loans to deposit ratios are improving. Um, ANZ in particular has picked up their mortgage credit share. Um, NABS has actually slowed, while uh, Commonwealth has been picking up some business credit growth uh, nicely recently. So uh, their balance sheet improvements we're seeing because of these higher deposits is, um, is a good sign in these times of slow credit growth. But of course, job cuts for banks that continue to make uh, record profits and then they go and uh, the, this union say they're sending jobs off she uh, overseas, this is always going to be quite a topical issue.